if I wanted to find this log, log with a base 7 of 10. Now, 7 and 10 don't have a base that's common, do they? No, but since we do have a, a calculator, we can just type in log of 10 over log of 7, but you could also say the natural log of 10 over the natural log of 7. It's, okay. it's all based so on what, what you want to do. what difference does it make? When are we supposed to use one or the other? It doesn't matter. Okay. If I don't let you use a calculator, like on the last example that we had here, if I say do this without a calculator, you need to know how to either do it this way or go back to the way we saw it before the test. But, see, this guy can be done without a calculator. This one up here can be done without a calculator. This guy cannot be done without a calculator. These guys don't have a common base. So I will have to come to my calculator and actually type this in and do the log of 10. Well, we know what the log of 10 is. Do you? Well, so I do. If I just type in log, what's the understood base? One. 10. ten. One. Right, so 10 to the what gives you 10. The answer there is 1. But divided by the log of 7. So I get some kind of nastiness. Now, here's what you need to understand. When you're doing this in my math lab, make sure you read to see how they want you to round. For most of the things you're going to see, they want you to round to the nearest thousandth. So we need to go out to three decimal places. So I've got 1.183. That is what I'm going to say is my answer. Now, here's what you're going to do to check your work. 7 to the watt power gives me 10. I maintain that 7 to this number gives me 10. So 7 raised to the 1.183. Now, this will not equal 10. I guarantee that it won't equal 10 because look, I'm leaving off a lot of information here, right? But I should get close enough to 10 for you to see that my answer is right. My answer fits within the realm of possibilities and what makes sense for this problem. Sure, it doesn't exactly equal 10, but it's pretty close. What do you guys think? Now, if you don't close up your parentheses correctly, you will be in for a world of hurt. Now, going back to something we saw on the review, if I just say what is the natural log of 597, I mean, natural log means you have a log with base what? E. e. Now, it, do you know E to what power gives you 597? Probably not. All you have to do here is type this in, natural log of 597, and you get this decimal. So this is about 6.392. Oh, you're right. Yes, approximately equal to. Guess I had a little something. So you're saying 6.392 is the base? No. I'm saying that this guy right here is understood to mean log with base E. So for me to check my work in this problem, I'm saying that if I take E and I raise it to the 6.392 power, this guy should be approximately equal to what was what inside my logarithm, 597. E. e? Is that the 2.8? It's at 2.7. Yeah. Point seven yeah. yeah. So if I take, if I do second natural log, here's your natural log button, and you see just above that is e to the x. One of the things I really like about how the calculator is set up is that above the natural log is its inverse, e to the x. Above the log is its inverse, 10 to the x. Above x squared is basically his inverse operation, which is the square root. So it's really easy to find these guys in the way they're paired up. So if I do second natural log, I get e with a caret and parentheses. So I'm going to put in 6.392, and I'm very confident that it should be close to 597. Can't you just go up and select that and it automatically put it in? I could, but since not every calculator has the ability to do that, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do this. 
I don't know if I'd say old school, but just. I don't know what you're talking about. So if you, uh, uh, you'll give us, the, 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 got it? Uh, <laughs> the LN, what do, you, what do you call that? We call it the natural, natural log. log. Some okay. people will just so say, if you want us to, 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 to do that, that's how you'll present it to us, the LN. Sure. Okay. Now some people actually read this and they just actually say LN of 597. I, I have a hard time saying this. Like some people say root two. What do you mean root two? It's the square root of two. <laughs> and see, this is a problem that I love to give, just to see if anybody is paying attention. The natural log of e to the 9,705. Right, see, what I want to see, what I want to show you guys, especially for those of you that are watching online, is this. If you try to type this into your calculator, the natural log of e raised to the 9,705 power, you get an overflow error. That's too big of a number mm -hmm. because the calculator does e to the 9,705 first. And just so you are with me on that, if I type in e raised to the 9,705, I get an overflow error. The number is too large. It goes beyond what the calculator can handle. But we don't need no stinking calculators. Natural log means log with the base E, right? So if this is what I have inside my log, that's what's inside here, e to the 9,705th power. Since these guys have the same base, and what we saw before, since these guys are inverses, the log and the exponential with the same base are inverses, my answer is just 9,705. Awesome blossom. What do you guys think about that? You have to know how you have to know the limitations of your calculator and know when it's not going to work and when you have to go back to what you you're supposed to know here about so logs. What is this for? What is what for? We're, ju we're we're just evaluating right now. Okay, but I mean, what is this for? Like, when do we use E? Well, what's the practical application for knowing LNE 9705? I mean, practical application for knowing logs and natural logs, they come up all the time in things that are based on powers of 10, for example. You're talking about decibels, uh, magnitudes of earthquakes. Those are based on powers of 10. When you go for a magnitude of earthquake with a magnitude of 6 to 7, that's a factor of 10. If you go from a 6 to an 8, that's a factor of 100 times the strength. And so that's based on logarithms, um, decibels, how you hear sound. That's based on powers of 10. pH levels. pH, totally, based on powers of 10. If you want to talk about, we're going to see this a little bit later, growth and decay. You're talking about exponential growth and decay, whether growth for populations, uh, decay for radioactive isotopes, that is based on E. With very, very large numbers. Sometimes, but there's also this great thing called Newton's Law of Cooling, which basically says if you were to take something right out of a 400 degree oven, okay, maybe it's got, it's got an internal temperature of 400 degrees, whatever you're taking out has internal temperature of 400 degrees, and you put it in a, in a controlled environment at 70 degrees, what is that thing going to do? It was 400 degrees when you came out of the oven, what is it going to do? It's going to cool. And Newton's law of cooling, which is using natural logs and exponentials, it will describe for you how it cools off. How it quickly it cools off. It gets me mad because if you give me that, I get it, but once you start comparing it to real life, it's like... So when it's like theoretical, you get it. When it's applicable, forget it. No, I mean, it's just like, what? what is the low sound? I mean, I don't know. I guess because I haven't worked and applied when it. When you, when you so whenever, like whenever you talk about right. sound waves and stuff, I'm like, what is it? What we're doing in this class is giving you the foundations to do bigger and better things. So you may see things where we don't have a lot of applications right now, but when you go on to take elements of calculus, business calculus, calculus, trig, pre-cal, and other things, you need this foundation to move on 
so you can really understand the inner workings of what you're working with.